Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Congratulations on taking the chair. I'm delighted to see you there. <clears throat> Every year or two, we hear from a Conservative Home Secretary that they're going to fix the broken system. The Home Secretary again has told us tonight the system is broken. And of course, she's right. It is broken. And the, 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 all the previous attempts that we've heard exactly the same things about in the past haven't fixed it, and this one isn't going to either. I cannot agree with the thinking in this bill that making life more miserable for people whose circumstances are already utterly miserable will fix these problems and deter them from their desperate efforts to reach the UK. Most people think that distinguishing between asylum seekers on the basis of their route to the UK is contrary to the 1951 Refugee Convention. No doubt that is going to end up in the courts. I'm particularly dismayed with plans to process asylum applications overseas. We've got no idea where this is going to happen. We certainly should know before we agree this bill. Australia has got offshore facilities in Papua New Guinea and Nauru, although nobody's been sent there since 2013. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees urged that they should be evacuated because of poor health standards, highlighting in particular the number of suicides there. Those facilities shame Australia, and if we go down the same road, it will shame us as well. The long wait for asylum decisions is a massive problem, and I asked the Home Secretary about this earlier on. There are 50% more asylum case workers now than there were in 2014 to 15, but the number of decisions they make has gone down every single year in that time. Why has productivity fallen so far? I asked the Home Secretary that. She didn't give me an answer. But without fixing that problem, yeah. things are just going to carry on getting worse. The number waiting over a year for uh, initial decisions, as we've been reminded repeatedly in this debate, has risen tenfold since 2010. I see that in constituency surgeries. People wait for years. They've got no idea when they'll hear anything. Sometimes a reply to me is the only way they know they actually are in the Home Office system. They've got no other evidence that they are. I very strongly support my right honourable friend's proposal for legally binding uh, targets to process asylum cases more quickly. If people cannot stay, they should be told soon, not as happens so often at the moment after years, so that leaving is impractical and in practice hardly ever happens. The current gross inefficiency helps nobody. I hope the House will reject this bill. Yeah, he, he.